Polymer manufacturers need to create new materials and deliver high quality to meet ever-changing end-use requirements. Precise testing and analysis are mandatory to ensure quality and to stay competitive. With Dynisco's online rheometers, you can verify your polymer rheology of not only virgin material, but a combination of virgin and recycled polymer and eliminate quality issues before production. This video describes basic operation of Dynisco's PLC-based online systems for Visco sensor, CMR4, and FCR rheometers. Each system boots to a main screen that looks like what you have here. The system parameters shown are fully configurable and are covered in the operation configuration video. Up in the top left, there is a heat on and off and motor on and off. These are simply pressed to enable or disable. The motor cannot be turned on and will not go green until the system is in a ready state shown here. Currently, the system has to heat up fully to get to that point. To set the running conditions of the system, select the Process Set Points button. These are the main parameters for the overall system such as zone temperatures, speed and pressure settings, and which mode of control you wish to use. For zone temperatures, simply enter by selecting inside the set point box and a keypad will pop up. You can enter the set point of the temperature you would like. You do not have to hit an Activate or Run button. Once entered, the system will automatically control the entered set points going forward. The system has two modes of operation, pressure control or speed control. Simply press the mode button to switch between them. Notice that the unused set point of pressure or speed will be hatched to highlight which mode of operation is being used. Speed and pressure set points can be directly entered, just as with the temperature set points. To set either a speed set point in terms of shear rate or a pressure set point in terms of shear stress, use the appropriate SR calc or DP calc buttons next to the set points. For shear rate to speed calculations, press the SR calc button and enter the desired shear rate you would like the instrument to process your material. Press the Calculate Speed button and the Speed Set Point will appear on the right. Below the Speed Set Point is the range of pump speed the instrument can be run. The Speed Set Point, which is determined from the shear rate entered, is calculated based upon the pump volume and capillary die installed in the system. With the current system parameters taken into account, the entry of 50 inverse seconds is not possible without a capillary die change. A newer entry of 20 shows that a shear rate of 20 inverse seconds can be run because it's within the range of the pump speed. To set the speed shown here as your actual system set point, simply press the Set Calculated Speed button. If you go back to the set point screen, you'll see now that is the speed setting. If I switch the control operating mode to speed, then the system will now run to this set point when one presses the motor button. For shear stress calculated set points, press the DP Calc button. Shear stress set points are based on ASTM or ISO defined test weights in kilograms. Select the desired test weight from the list of ASTM or ISO test weights and simply press Calculate Delta Pressure. Calculated pressure set points shown on the right are in all possible system units of pressure. Maximum pressure of the installed pressure sensors is shown in the middle of the screen. To directly transfer the pressure set point shown on this screen to the system's pressure set point, press the Set to Pressure Set Point button. If you go back to the set point screen, you'll see that it is now the set point in PSI because the system is set up in pressure units of PSI. The calculated pressures are derived from the installed capillary die's length and diameter. So now you have the system set to the temperatures you would like and the speed or pressure you would like the system to control to. Also, in dual pressure sensor or dual capillary systems, you'll see several ways to control pressure, either to just a single pressure sensor or differential across the capillary. In most cases, you'd want to run the differential pressure, if available, with a two pressure sensor or two capillary system. Pressing the back arrow button twice from this screen will return you back to the main screen. As you can see here, the system is heating up. Once heated up to the 200 degree set points entered, then the warm-up state will change to ready and the motor can be started and the system will run to the control point we have just set. Dynisco online rheometers are recognized and used around the world for testing the physical, mechanical, and thermal properties of polymers. 
Experience the benefits of online rheology measurements to maximize extrusion efficiency, decrease your scrap rate, and increase your use of regrind and wide spec materials with confidence knowing that the finished product is to specification. To learn more, visit dynisco.com backslash online rheometers.